Have you ever wondered why the waters of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans don't easily mix? In today's video, we'll explore the fascinating factors that contribute to this phenomenon. The Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean do mix to some extent, particularly at their boundaries, known as the Southern Ocean near Antarctica and the Arctic Ocean near the North Pole. However, the question may be referring to the phenomenon of oceanic water masses not readily mixing over large distances in the open ocean. Several factors contribute to the separation of water masses between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. Density Differences One key factor is the difference in salinity. The Atlantic Ocean tends to be saltier than the Pacific, creating density gradients that resist easy mixing. Wind and Current Patterns Ocean currents, driven by wind and the Earth's rotation, act as powerful forces shaping the distribution of water masses. These currents often create barriers, hindering the free flow of water between the Pacific and Atlantic. Geographical Barriers The presence of land masses, such as the Americas, serves as a physical barrier. While some mixing occurs through narrow passages like the Panama Canal, these land masses generally limit the direct exchange of waters between the two oceans. Time scales. On the grand scale of the oceans, mixing does happen over extended periods. However, the sheer size of these bodies of water means that complete and rapid mixing is a slow process. So, while the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans do interact at their boundaries and over time, various factors like density differences, currents, geographical barriers, and time scales contribute to the distinct nature of these vast bodies of water. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, happy exploring!